Seb, what have you done to Sammy? Why did you bring him here? Go, go, go to the deep end. I just wanna go, go, go to the It's all dark and spooky. You know what that means? Means Claire gets way too excited about this series. <laughs> Yet again, I couldn't stay away. I had to get back and figure out the mystery of Strangerville. I hope you guys are still enjoying it, this series. I kind of feel like going away to other series right now would like, we need to solve this before the world ends. That's the vibe I'm getting. But welcome back, my little peachy Rudies, to a new video. In the last episode, Cody got to, look at him, he's there in his hazmat suit. He is at the lab right now. He was helping Helped by Mindy, who helped him build the filter for his suit. She is watching out on the lab with him to make sure nothing goes horribly wrong. And he's about to go in to the bottom layers of the lab and find out which freakish thing is there. So if you guys are looking forward to this video, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. It really, really helps me out. And also it means you won't miss the ending of this series. So let's head back into it, guys. There's lots of mysteries to uncover. Let's see what we find out. Let's play Cody. Get your peach juice ready because you may need it. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Why have I just been kicked out of the lab? Oh, it will have relocked, won't it? <gasps> oh my gosh. We need to get back down to the bottom floor. I'm wondering as well if these plants have changed further, but they seem to be still at the same level. So we're okay there. <gasps> oh, he needs a little wee wee on the potty. It looks so funny walking like that in his hazmat suit. We'll just enjoy this for a hot moment. Oh man, all of his needs are real low. Okay. Oh, uh, is there, <laughs> is there a toilet here? Yes, there is. Okay, go have a quick wee. I don't like them eating here because I feel like it could be contaminated. So you're just gonna have to wee and that's it. Okay, now that that's out the way, it is time to go through. Mindy, you can go no further because I don't want something to happen to you. So I need you just to wait here for me. Be safe. I know you're hungry. I'll if anything goes wrong, I'll radio you, okay? Okay, Mindy's gonna wait here. Perfect. <gasps> and it's time to go through. The scary, freaky, purple haze that is this lab. I'm sorry he's in such a horrible need state, but we can go ahead and use that key card on here. Look at this crazy language on top as well. <gasps> ah! I, I was gonna like debate, should I let them go home and like, w like make you guys wait a bit to do this? But I just couldn't do it. I had to know just as much as you did. <gasps> okay, we're going inside. I'm not even telling him to go here. He's just doing that on his, this on his own. <gasps> we go down a level. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then he's just doing this on his own. I don't even think I could turn him back now if I wanted to. He's going down another level. <gasps> What's gonna happen next? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, there's another terminal. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look, 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 look. Look at this stuff everywhere. <gasps> it's all growing on the walls. Can he get to down here? Have I just gone so far ahead of him? Oh, he needs to use his key card again, I think. Wait, how do I get through this bit? Can I get it? Can you go here? <gasps> yeah, he can. Okay, 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 okay. Go here, go here, go here. Oh my gosh. Okay, we know it's safe. We at least know it's safe now. But what is the next step? Transverse to the deepest part of the lab. Are we still not there yet? <gasps> oh my gosh, I have to go through this. Look, it's been completely abandoned. There's still like experiments left out on the table. And look, look, look over here. Oh my gosh, this has just been left out. <gasps> oh my gosh, look. They're doing experiments on the plant, so her face is so close forward. But it makes me think they had to leave in a hurry. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh my gosh, hot pause, because I don't need to get accidentally eaten. This is some Mass Effect stuff. I feel like I've gone to... What is a place in Mass Effect where the Asari was green? And she actually looks so cool. And she remained green, which is really cool. And she was being controlled by, like, a host plant. Oh, was it N... N oh, what was the place on Mass Effect? I'm going to have to look it up because this is Mass Effect right now. If you've not played Mass Effect, play Mass Effect. I think that's from, is it Vermeer? No, Vermeer might be where Ashley dies. Let me find again. <gasps> Thorian. It's a senti sentient plant and it can get hosts in people and possess them. And what was the name of the place? Was it Pharos? Yeah, it's Pharos. And it like, it, it, call it like attacks the colony, like mind controls all the colony. This is a Mass Effect story. Okay, we're playing Mass Effect now. And Cody is Commander Shepard. Let's just make sure we're all on the same page there. Should I go up here? Is he gonna like eat me? I don't even know. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, what do I do, guys? Look at it. 
Oh, it's so freaky! Look at its arms being like... Oh. Do you hear the music? We've got spook all over our music! Cody's like, yeah, I ain't going in here. Gonna, he's brave. He's like our Commander Shepard. So I feel like he'd feel brave enough to go up. And this planet has been taken over your friends. It's been taken over your toilet. It's been taken over your sink. I think we should attempt to fight it. Cody, you got this, friendo. Oh my gosh. He is much braver than I am. <gasps> oh! He's trying to shoot something at it. I don't think it's working. Oh my gosh. <gasps> don't kill Cody. Don't kill him. Oh my gosh, I'm frightened. Did I just do something stupid? Look at his arms be like. Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! No! 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 Cody, Cody, get away, get away, get away! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Guys, he's been knocked out. He's been knocked out by the plan. Oh, Cody, get out of there! Get out of there! Go here! Go, 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 go! Run! Cody, run! Get out of there! The mother planet is extremely powerful. Best not to fight her alone. You can now create vaccines or the chemical analyzer. Vaccinate and recruit other sims to fight the mother plant. <gasps> oh my gosh, look, look, look. So this is where we create the experiment vaccine. Use the infection scanner to scan for spore clusters and nurture the bizarre plant to get bizarre fruit. I feel like it's like literally making the building shake. No wonder they had to get out of here. <gasps> Oh, she's scary. Look, we hate her as well. Look, we've got full red towards her. The mother despised. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Cody, get out of there. Get home. Get Mindy and leave this lab immediately. Oh my gosh. This has been the craziest start to an episode ever. Wait, what's Mindy doing? Why is she going down there on her own? Mindy, you'll get killed. Mindy, what are you doing? Why is she just off on her own? What is she doing? What is she doing? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cancel him going home because I wanna see what she's about to do. Where did she just go? Where did she just go? She just disappeared. Where has Mindy just gone? She, <laughs> she walked down here and then she disappeared? I am so confused as to what just happened to Mindy. Hopefully she didn't just get eaten by the plant. I don't even know. Ruben's saying, oh, she's pretty cool. But I don't know if she just, she just disappeared somewhere into the lab. Which makes me suspicious of her. I don't know yet whether she can be trusted or not. But that was a suspicious move right there, Mindy. That was a suspicious move. Oh my gosh, I've like downed half my peach juice after that. That was way too crazy. <gasps> Listen. Noise. Music. <gasps> Stop the infection. You've discovered the source of the infection plague in Strangerfell, an enormous mother plant buried beneath the base of the lab. The only way to get the town back to normal is to defeat the vile creature. Find a cure for the infection and assemble a team. And look, it's pulled Seb home from work early yet again, which is super annoying because it means he won't be able to have violence in his class if he does this. Cody's feeling pretty horrific, so he's off to go eat. And there are a lot of spores in the air right now. Can you guys see that? There are spores everywhere. Okay, Cody is off to go and get some well-earned sleep. Seb is in the shower. I'm kind of worried that some vines might try and join him in the shower. I'm switching it up loads in case like the plants make a noise or something. I can hear something. I swear I can hear. <gasps> oh my gosh. How did I not notice that? Oh my gosh. What have I done? What? Oh, the pink lightning! The coolest color of lightning, but still. Oh my gosh, things have just gone crazy now. And there's crazy people absolutely everywhere. Apart from the FBI, the FBI is still fine. Co is Cody sleeping in his... Oh my gosh, this is how shattered he is. He's just gone to sleep on in bed with his full suit on. You can you can go to normal sleep, don't worry. Seb is getting a normal night's sleep. Well, morning sleep. But without actually getting possessed. So this is a first. Okay, there's no way that Seb isn't going to notice what's going on in town. Because, I mean... It's pretty obvious at this point and it's so loud like I can hear it all the time now I'm gonna change him into his like little army outfit 
and get him to head down to the bar because I almost feel like we need to discuss. We need to discuss, sorry, that's the library, not the bar. With like our army people, what is going on here? Because it's frightening. I feel like the military would have been called for this. Okay, we're at the Eight Bells Bar. The mayor of town is there, acting normal. Okay, this is good. We've got some army people here. Hopefully a few of them can turn up so that we can recruit some other army people to go and check out the base. Okay, so I've added this army girl here to the group. Let's have a little chat with her about what's going on and see, because there's always meant to be one guard on post at the lab. We've never caught one there, so I sort of feel like, not the lab, sorry, the crater. So I sort of feel like they should. No oh, oh, no. 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 I sort of feel like they should be making sure nobody gets it. He has a military option to give an inspirational speech, which is like somebody needs to figure out what's going on here. When new recruits looking to try and prove ourselves, in fact, he's not even just a new recruit anymore. He's a private fourth class. He's a private in the army, okay? But he's gonna give her inspirational speech about why they should go down and investigate. And then, oh, she's on board. She's on board. Okay, I think we should go and make sure everything's okay. Yep, their feet. <laughs> I don't think that's part of it, but okay, let's get these guys to travel. Oh man, listen to it here now. Oh my gosh, do you think you can accidentally get struck by that lightning? I don't even know. I like how Sloane's like taking straight to action running inside. Oh my gosh, I can hear the lightning hitting the ground. Look, it's hitting these. It hits these things. Like watch, I'll wait for another one to like strike down. It will hit one of these like almost like little satellite things. Maybe the look! Do you see that? Oh so weird. Oh, so he can't get in without a key card, can he? I wonder if Sloan has a key card. I wonder if she's like his senior. It feels so dangerous being here right now. Oh, she's giving him stuff. Oh, she's actually just straight up giving him stuff about Strangerville. About the military info, but I guess he's in the military, so why wouldn't he? Okay, so they know something's gone on, but they can't get in without the key card. I think she's got one, but it's the whole evidence through, and obviously I don't want to go through all that again. But Seb is infected. In fact, I take a hazard at a guess that most of the army at this point is infected. He's not really thinking straight. He's not really doing the most sensible actions. And he's definitely not working with Cody at this point. He's probably pretty angry at Cody and the army are saying nobody should ever have got down there. He knows that Cody's got down there. So I think he's gonna end up doing something that Cody might not like. <gasps> I was about to say, so while Cody sleeps way upstairs, but Mindy's calling him. She's asking him to go out on a date. Does that, is that code? Does that mean I actually have some info for you? Okay, okay, this is a little bit sooner than I expected. But maybe she knows, maybe she can help us with this vaccine thing. She, he, she's brought a real spanner in the works, but it's fine, I'm excited for it. Okay, she's brought us to this party wax emporium. She's still dressed in a lab gear. Maybe she's gonna tell us where she disappeared off to that time. Oh no, she's gonna sit here and play chess with an employee. Why has she brought us here? Is she trying to get us off the trail? I don't know. I don't understand why we're here. She's flirting with him. I feel like she's just trying to distract him. But why? Why is she just brought us here to take us away from our distraction? I don't understand. I'm gonna go back to Seb. Okay, Seb knows that Cody keeps the key here to keep it safe in his like little secret bit. So he's gonna go ahead and grab the key. Look at her in there as well, sneaking in. So he's got the key card and cause he's possessed, I think he'd be like compelled to make other Sims get possessed as well. Unfortunately, that means the one Sim that's at home with him right now, Sammy B, is in danger, you guys. So uh, Sev is like, oh, I think we should go um, hang out. This is like one of my workmates, Sloan. We should definitely go and like, uh, I think Cody wanted to meet us at the um, lab. So we should head over there. And of course, Sammy is like so close with Sev. He'd have no reason to ever not trust him. So they're gonna bring him there with the key card. Okay, I'm hoping this is gonna work the way I want it to. We're gonna go ahead here and use the key card. Seb's like, this is fine. Like the military's cleared all this. Don't even worry, Sammy. I just wanna show you something super cool that Seb's got planned for you down here. The mother compels him. Oh, look at this as well. Can you see like, oh, <laughs> I thought the back of his head had a line on it, but it doesn't. <laughs> but he's bringing them deep down into the lab where the mother the mother calls for him. <laughs> I feel like at this point, poor little Sammy B is probably so freaked out. Be like, why? Are you sure this is safe, Seb? Like, I trust you more than anyone. Is this definitely safe? And Seb is like, 
We're in the military. Oh, he needs a Wii as well. Of course it's safe. What are you talking about? I just wanted to show you something really cool. And wow, there are spores everywhere now. And Sammy's like, what is that? What is that? Sam, Sammy's probably absolutely terrified right now. But he's like, it's cool, watch. I can try and communicate with them. It's not gonna hurt us. Sloane seems very- Oh! Yep, Sloane is definitely possessed as well. I was about to say she seems unaffected. But now look, so he's like, what is going on? What is going on? And Seb's like, you must communicate with the mother. And he's like, what are you doing to my friends? What are you doing to my friends? You horrible thing. Stay away from them. You will not get me. I will not become possessed. I mean, it feels like it might, it might be get, it might be onto something here. <laughs> he might be onto something. Oh man, the plant! Oh, the plant's taking very much interest in our little Sammy B. Oh my god, it's so scary! It's so scary! It is so freaky. Sammy, stay safe, babes. Stay safe. What has Seb brought you to? It's because he's possessed. I don't think ordinarily he would ever do this. Don't worry. This isn't Seb. This is the mother doing this to him. I'm afraid for Sammy. Sammy's not possessed, so I don't know if the plant will do something different to him. Maybe something worse? Oh! Oh! Oh, 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 oh! No! No! Guys, it's happened to Sammy as well! Sammy is possessed too! Oh my gosh! Seb, what have you done to Sammy? What have you done? Why did you bring him here? At least he doesn't need a Wii anymore, I guess. Oh my gosh. Oh! oh! So freaky! I can't even, like, call Cody to help us because right now, they are both possessed. And I'm pretty sure Sloane is marching around somewhere being possessed as well. So it ain't great. Cody, we need you right now, but you're being distracted on a date. To the point where he's exhausted and she's still keeping him there. Guys, I need one of you to get a hold of yourselves, please. Please! What is Sammy off to go do with the sink? What is he doing? Oh, they want water, don't they? Because they're plants. So they want to be fed. And you give plants water. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. God, I think I'm about to be possessed. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I feel watching him and choke it straight after. Because they always cough before they get possessed, don't they? <gasps> Seb's talking to a plant outside. Oh my gosh. He's happy because he's had water. Smooth sipping. Oh, and now he's talking to a plant as well. <gasps> Look! I can do I can do stuff. Emulate human laugh. Discuss the great mother, move lips to make human sounds, communicate, and confess fear of humans. Oh, they're back to normal. Oh, they snapped back to normal before I could do any of that cool stuff. The thing is, their needs are all like 100% once they stop being possessed. Okay, Sammy B, while you still have a grain of control left, you need to get both of you home right now. Look at them both going out separate sides. Weird. So they've both come home, not like just looking normal. Giving nothing away to poor Cody, who's absolutely exhausted. In fact, he didn't even make it to his bed. Thanks, Mindy. Seb's just marching around like nothing happened. We're all just pretending we can't see this. Okay, I get it. Oh, Cody looked like he tried to come in and talk to Sammy, but he's so tired. I'm gonna get Sammy to take uh, Colin sick from school, because he is possessed, so I kind of feel like he can. You don't sound sick. If this continues, there will be consequences. He doesn't have any more vacation days. Oh, oh my gosh. So, Seb's so marching all the way over here. Sammy B has gone over to chat with him. You've got such a good view of this from here. Can I get to that? Let me just see how close I can get to it. Because uh, you can kind of go riding on this camera if you go far enough. Look at me. Oh, I'm in the storm. I am in the storm right now. 
Oh, but the love isn't there. Oh, that's cheeky. That is cheeky right there. Here is how, what Stranger of the looks like, by the way. And there you go. Let's uh, drop back down again. Oh my gosh, I'm more crazy people. Seb is heading into work, leaving little Sammy B. Oh, he wanted to talk to Seb as well. That's sad. <laughs> But little Sammy B has found himself here yet again. Probably not. Well, he could be doing this at any moment now. This is the weird, scary thing about being possessed. And are Sims aware that they're possessed? I'm not sure how aware they are, but he knows he feels weird and different ever since going to the lab. In fact, he wants to go view a bizarre plant, and he's never done that before. So I feel like on some level, he's aware that something super weird went on at the lab. It feels he feels happy from doing that. Oh no, he feels happy because the plant makes being possessed makes you really happy. Weirdly enough, but he's like, look, the only person. I I've ever seen at that lab other than Cody is the guy that I know lives here. I think I just have to bite the bullet and knock on the door. Oh gosh, he's going to be at school in an hour too. Okay, he's knocking on the door. He's knocking on the door. <laughs> They're saying come on in. They are. Oh my gosh, don't, don't just go in without me. No way. So Mindy, what? Mindy no. was there inside. In fact, she's just leaving. He's run away to make sure that she didn't see him. And I think it's time to find out what this guy's deal is. Can you tell if people are infected or not as well? I don't know if you can. Okay, so he's gonna like introduce himself, but I feel like he's not gonna be happy. It's like, what were you doing at the lab? And why are you hanging around with that scientist? So they haven't really got off on a good note. This is Micah. You guys probably recognized him because I showed him on Twitter a long time ago. I'm gonna ask him what was he doing at the lab and what does he know about Mindy? Because Mindy's dating his friend, so like why is why is she here? Oh, he's not happy that he even came. He's like, I don't want you asking any questions around me. I'm trying to keep a low profile here and the last thing I need is some kid sniffing around my business. Oh my gosh, she's actually made him tense. Okay, I'm gonna get Sammy to apologize and just say, look, I feel like something's going on in this town and I feel weird. I just need some answers, okay? Okay, so Micah explains that that scientist buys stuff that he steals from the lab for her and that she's been doing that since she ever worked at the lab. He said that some of the bizarre plants that popped up around town. He noticed that they appeared after he gave her some seeds and like some spores and stuff that he got from the lab. Ever since it was closed, he's been able to sneak in because let's just say he knows how to sneak in and steal things. He says, I'm not gonna tell you anything else about me. I'm only telling you about the lab and that's all I know about Mindy, okay? Also, he has a toddler living here with him. Who's kind of wrecking the whole house right now? <laughs> The whole time they're talking, she's just wrecking everything. So it seems like Mindy has been helping the infection from the start, which kind of makes sense because she was trying to distract Cody from killing the master plant, the big mother. And also she's a botanist, so she'll actually know a lot about plants. So I feel like she's been propagating and helping the spread of the virus around town, which means she's definitely not an ally and we need to get back and tell Cody ASAP. But honestly, judging by the number of effect affected sims in town right now, I feel like we might be too late. Either way, I'm gonna thank Micah for what he's told us because it has definitely helped us out. Although we now definitely know that he... He's good at sneaking into places and stealing. He's like, if we were really thankful for the information, you'd pay for it because that's how information exchanges generally go. So Sammy B has gone ahead and given him some simoleons to pay for the information, which he seems pretty happy about. I gave him 500 simoleons for that. Also, Sammy B is kind of looking at the fact that he lives in a tiny trailer and he's got a toddler. I mean, there's really not that much room for them both. And I think he feels a little bit sorry for him too. Sammy is also going to say to him, like, look, you went very hard hard to spot at the lab and the lab's pretty dangerous right now. Here's pictures of what I actually took of you at the lab. I'm giving you them like I don't want them. I don't want to interfere with your life but you need to be more careful. And although they got off on the wrong foot, I don't think Sammy can help being pretty intrigued by our new stranger and just what his life story is because he might have told us about the lab but he hasn't told us anything about himself. And it looks like he's got bigger things to deal with so we're gonna leave him to it for now. Oh and by bigger things to deal with I mean playing with the little babaroo in the pool. That's so cute. 
you. Okay, so Seb you. is moving up in the military and finding himself knocking oh, heads with Cody so even more. Cody also knows that his key card's gone missing, and there's only one person in this house that he knows is possessed. So he's gonna accuse Seb of spying on him and taking his stuff, arguing with him about his morals. So these guys already did have a great relationship, but now that I've accused him of spying and I've attacked his morals, it's probably gonna get even worse. And even though I know he doesn't stand a chance of winning this because Seb's in the army, like he's been working out since he realized the arms can be used to pump iron. I am gonna get, and I hate doing this because it's like damaging their relationship, but it's for the greater good, okay? Bear with me. I'm gonna get Cody to fight Seb. He absolutely knows he's gonna take a beat in here. Oh, it's so horrible seeing your boys getting to him. Bye. He's hating life so much right now. Oh, yeah, he totally got beaten up, which I knew he would. He's feeling dazed. However, the only reason he got into a fight was so that he could try and grab the card during the beatings, which he totally has done. Oh my gosh, they're fighting again, guys. No, wait, don't keep fighting. And it's still accusing him of spying. He is real mad at him. Don't get like beaten to death, okay? Look at the Seb feeling good super triumphant from beat winning his fight. Poor Cody being beaten twice, but knowing it was the right thing to do to actually protect his friend. <gasps> <coughs> so little Sammy B is home from school and clearly still a little bit obsessed with the plants, which won't go unnoticed by Cody. Oh my gosh, he's made it generate a fruit. These guys are still arguing behind. Gonna get him to harvest that fruit. And he's headed over to see what these guys are arguing about. And also I can tell him what Micah has told him about the scientists spreading the virus around town and trying to help spread that mother plant. Proving that she no, is also possessed by the mother. So at least now Cody knows that he can't trust the scientist anymore. But Sammy B, who's now possessed, is obviously just eating the fruit without any sort of worry. <laughs> right in front of Cody, who must be like, what? What? Now you're possessed too? Sammy, how can this have happened to you as well? Sammy, come back to me. Sammy! He's super angry thinking that this is Seb's doing. Seb must have caused this somehow. Can you try and snap him out of it? Oh! Oh my gosh, he just grabbed his hand and pushed him back. This is little Sammy, who I think even Cody would be stronger than Sammy. Okay, this is not good. We need to head to the lab ASAP. I was gonna get him to call Mindy and bring her with him. But now that he knows that Mindy is possessed too, He's gonna have to do this on his own. It feels like everybody is possessed except Cody at this point. Okay, I'm back at the lab. You need to put your hazmat suit back on because you can't risk being infected. Not when you've come this far. You need to try and vaccinate them so they can help you bring down the plant. And also just so that they can get their minds back. Nobody wants to be possessed. So I'm definitely glad he's got the hazmat suit on. And he's gonna have a go at creating an experimental vaccine. I don't- what- what skill is this using? Uh, it's using his logic. It's level three, so it's not amazing. And this is his first time doing it. We could have really used Mindy for this, because she's an actual scientist. And she's a botanist that I feel like that would have been helpful since we're using plant spores, but she turns out she cannot be trusted. She cannot be trusted. She is possessed and she's been acting on behalf of the plant for a really long time. In fact, I bet she lured him down there for the plant to kill him. Luckily, Cody managed to escape within an inch of his life. An inch, I tell you. Okay, we've got one experimental vaccine. I don't know if this is gonna be enough. I need to test it on a possessed sim to learn how to craft the true vaccine. But what if I end up hurting them somehow? I'm scared I might hurt them. I'm gonna get him to create a few more experimental ones while we're here. And then I can test all three of them at home. I know three possessed people now, so you know. Look at this, when he's working here, he feels safe and secure from his paranoid trait. Nothing beats being deep underground, surrounded by concrete shelter and pure safety. I feel like once he leaves Strains of Town, he's gonna have to live in like a, a concrete vault, I swear. And he's getting pretty hungry, so once we've done this one, I think we're gonna have to head back home. Also, when you're down here, time means nothing. Like, it's 4 a.m. At this point, Cody is nocturnal. He is basically like, I don't know, a lion or a squirrel. Let's get you home, kiddo. Okay, I might just keep him in this suit like all the time now. 
so that he doesn't accidentally get like contaminated. It looks like Sammy B is gonna be our test subject. <laughs> Poor little baby. Oh, he's literally coming to chat with him as well. It's like he wants to be experimented on. Sammy, I'm gonna we need you to go ahead Gibbs. and eat fruit. Oh, I hate to ask you to do this. I know you'll lose your mind, but trust me, this is for your own good. And little Sammy's friends with him now, so I feel like he'll just trust him. Okay, he's becoming possessed. He's becoming possessed. Unfortunately, this is kind of perfect. Let's go ahead and test our vaccine on him please don't listen i'm gonna save my game just in case doing the testing with an experimental vaccine which isn't a cure actually kills the sim i can't have my sammy b die you know okay let's try our first one it's just thrown it straight into his eyes and he's still pretty possessed you guys that oh what's happened to him oh it just made him wee himself Okay, it caused some kind of reaction, but it did not isolate the infection. Oh, he's in a bad place now, you guys. He weed on the floor. Apparently, I need to test someone else, the vaccine out on someone else as well. But I need to find a possessed person. Oh my gosh, it's not hard in this town. They're everywhere. You've got two more test subjects here. Okay, let's try it on this random dude. Thrown it into his eyes again. What reaction is this gonna have? What did he do? Is he gonna go to sleep? Okay, that made him go to sleep. So we've done a wee <laughs> and we've done a sleep. Let's do another test. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. They are actually everywhere. Sammy B's heading into school whilst being possessed. Oh my gosh, I don't feel like that's a good thing to do. And I'm pretty sure he's still got yeah. wee on himself too. But we tried it on this one. And again, has it gone for a wee? Yeah, it's gone again. But we've seemed to have isolated the infection. The infection. <gasps> Head past the secret lab and craft the infection vaccine on the chemical analyzer. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab, um, ooh, don't taunt it. No, 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 no. Grab some more fruit because we need that as part of the vaccine. And Seb's still at work, which is good because I think he might try and stop us. And he's strong enough to do so, but Sammy B is back at home. His needs are all super high from being possessed apart from hygiene because he wet himself. We're gonna take him and try and make him the first cure. So let's get to the lab with Sammy B ASAP. Okay, Sammy B, you're gonna have to follow me down here. You'll remember this place because this is where you got attacked by the mother. Grab some more of these spore clusters, just the right amount, and then we can create the vaccine. Where's Sammy B? He's coming, he's coming. Well, Sammy, it won't be long before you're cured, my baby. He's just taking selfies. Totally unaware of how possessed he is. You'd think that when he's near the plant that it would like force possession, but apparently not. If we have to like force him to eat one though, I do have one in my inventory. So he does have one he can eat if he needs to be possessed. Okay, admin, oh, he doesn't need to be possessed. <gasps> we can administer the vaccine. Please work, please work. Oh, oh, is that it? Is he cured? Is he cured? He seems happy. <gasps> I feel so much better. I can think clearly and that terrible sound in my head is gone. And if I look on his like about page, but he's no longer infected, which is awesome. Okay, guys, we figured out a cure. All we need to do now is try and get, I feel like we're gonna have to make a cure. Give it to Sammy B to administer to Seb because there's no way Seb is gonna let Cody go anywhere near him. And then the only thing left to do would be to take down the mother with our friends once and for all. I think I need a vaccine for Seb, a vaccine for Sloane so she can help us. And if you guys want her to help as well, I can give a vaccine to Mindy as well. Even though she did sabotage us, but she was possessed at the time. So guys, let me know what you think about this episode. It's got pretty juicy. Maybe we can see if Micah wants to help us as well. Although he seems to want to take a low profile. There's still a little bit more to discover with him and i'll see you guys for a new episode of stranger phil soon thank you so much for watching Bye. i just want to know am i insane